how to add painted layers to Affinity Photo, an image in Affinity Photo. I've got an image behind this and I've got a couple of layers that I've created and I've stretched this brush strokes out to make a sort of distortion on top of this image. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. So I'll just go back straight to the start. First thing to do, create a layer. So new layer, so layer and new layer. And now what I want to do, I want to add some brush strokes to it. So I'm just going to quickly go to the brush. There's the brush tool there, paint brush tool. So now there's a whole range of different brushes and I'm just going to quickly go down to here, the brushes. I'm going to just go for a, maybe an ink brush. So inks and just select that one. Set the size, you want something fairly big. And I'm going to apply this brush stroke to this. So now I'm going to go with a mix of green and reds. And I'm just going to quickly apply here. Now you can also can change the size. I've got for 108 there, maybe make it 310. Just apply different. And you can always use the swatches over here. Now if you can't find those, view and studio, and you've got brushes, see layers is quite key, and swatches. So you've now got red there. So you can just see so you can add additional strokes over there of different colours. And of course you can go there green and just add on top of there if you want to add other colours there. So you can make a whole mix of different designs. I'm just going to add a couple more. Maybe dark green there. And you can vary the size. Maybe another red. Okay, I'm just going to finish at that point. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to apply some effects to it as well. So it's a layer, so you go to layers, you can see now layers there. What you can do, you can go to down the bottom, there's an option here, FX, so layer effects. So click that, brings up panel here. Well, you can add some outer shadow, just go to outer shadow there. Unfortunately, default always to the uh, less useful zero zero for there so i'm just going to extend that out so you can now add a bit of depth to it so just i'm just going to go that just now what else i can do i can go for maybe bevel and boss there's a whole range there or maybe go for 3d so 3d and i can increase the radius there and you course can change that you can see the effect there but that's just to give some depth to it as well as obviously the shadow as well. So I'm closing that now. What you can then do, you can actually go to a layer and you can rasterize it because I want it to be nicely distorted. I want it blurred, I want to mess around with it. So I'm going to rasterize that now. I've got my layer and I could create multiple layers. Obviously I'm just going to create one for this, but you've got rasterize. So it's rasterized. That's all now a pixel layer here. And what you can then do, of course, you could go and apply some other effects to it, some other brush strokes. So there's a number of other paint and mix uh, there, or maybe use smudge. You can smudge it and you can vary the size. Set the, there, maybe make it 400 so it's a bit, you just sort of distort it out like that. And you can smudge it into each other so they can, and see, it's not so sort of beautiful, it's a much more sort of rougher look. And you can do that obviously with all that and streaks of, Color can blend in, or maybe go the other way. And distort that as well. But what you can also do, if you want to, you can then go to filter and distort and deform. That's even more useful, I think. So you've got deform, just bring that up there so you can see that. And what you can do, you can add various pins to it. All right, just add some pins at different places, doesn't particularly matter. And then what you can do, you can distort it again, create even weirder effects there. So you can stretch it off, maybe make it rotate a bit, and stretch that down there. And you can and you can always add some additional pins. You don't have to keep. Yeah. Okay, so you got that. So what you can then do, apply. And of course, you can also just duplicate it. So you can also go to layer and just go down to duplicate so you've got the duplicate there and then you can move that don't have to of course you've got this 
sharp but that adds a nice effect if you want to use that sort of thing don't have to of course you don't have to duplicate it just use one layer if you want but you've got that you can rotate it so you can change it at different angles obviously you want to keep the underlying image you don't want to just completely fill thing but once you've done that that rotation that transformation what you can then do of course you can go down go into the smudge you can always just drag that and you can sort of distort it in all kinds of ways to blend these designs of course it does help to actually select the right one there's no point trying to blend the pixel layer below because that will not go anywhere actually if while you're doing that it may be better just to say just turn it off so you can actually see it otherwise you're just trying to blend or smudge the other one it's just not going to work and of course you can then move that around so if you decide what well, let's have a game go to smudge just look for that and you can maybe rotate distort it that way and you can always recolor it with other effects so now you've got that what you can then do is just bring it back in again and if you want to realign just reposition it reposition it like that again you can always transform it and move it around create that sort of design now, what you can also do if you want to create some like fade into it, so you've got that one, I'm just going to select that layer. What you can do, you go to layer and you've got new mask layer. So new mask layer, just go there. And what you can do, you can add a gradient. So just go with a basic gradient. And you can see you can add a fade there. And you can see the result there, you can manipulate. And you can manipulate it further obviously i'm just gonna but you can see you can create some different designs there and you can always click on there and alter that you can add some additional there color maybe make it darker and so on and so on. so you can just tweak it and fade it in different places which you may or may not want up to you and of course what you can also do you can always go there and you can rasterize that as well you can rasterize the whole thing so you rasterize, so that obviously just goes into one design there. And then you can maybe apply some filters, maybe do distort again, or maybe if you want, you can always blur it as well. So you can blur that effect or not, up to you. So it cancel, yeah. So that's a way of creating some unusual paint streaks, layers on top of an image, if that's the design you want to create. So uh, pixels, pixels and of course what you can do you can always add three or four more layers or apply transformations and you can always of course at any point just simply remove that design if you don't want it so hope you found this tutorial of interest i'm always adding new tutorials about finty photo finty designer photoshop illustrator painter critter etc also if you've got any comments always appreciated It'd be great to hear and also a dislike or like thank you much